Tolerance is very important in the manufacturing process. So items made in the manufacturing industry are made to a set of guideline measurements. Now, for example, uh, there's a lot of measurements for various parts, but let's look at roller blade bearings. They have a diameter range of acceptability in order to fit into the wheel. Now, although the range is small, there is an acceptable variation. So, tolerance, therefore, is the variation in measurement that's allowed so that the bearing is used in the production of the wheel for the roller blade. Okay, let's look at how tolerance relates to nominal value. Okay, well, let's look at how nominal value relates to tolerance. Okay, so let's look at how uh, you can express the nominal value of tolerance. Now, the most common way is nominal value is equal to plus or minus one half the tolerance. Let's look at an example. Uh, most inline skates industry use industry standard 608 bearings. The uh, diameter has a nominal value of 22 millime millimeters with a tolerance of 0.2 millimeters. Now this means that if you divide the tolerance by 2, you get 0.1 millimeter. Now, add this amount to the nominal value and you get a maximum acceptable diam diameter value of 22.1 millimeters. If you subtract 0.1, then you get the minimum acceptable diameter value of 21.9 millimeters. Okay, the nominal value uh, is defined as the uh, target diameter value for an item such as a bearing for a wheel. Now, usually the nominal value is halfway between the maximum and minimum values. However, it can also be the maximum or minimum value. But, for most cases, the nominal value will have an upper and lower limit. If the bearing diameter measures fall in this range, then it will be acceptable for use in production. Quality control checks the bearing diameters to verify the nominal value acceptability. So if we go back to uh, the bearing, the roller blade bearing, that distance is 22 millimeters from here to here. That's the diameter. And, when, and then that unit, that bearing, sits inside the wheel right here. So you can see that the bearing has some play. I mean, it can't be too tight, but it can't be too loose. Hence, you know, the range is 22.1 to 21.9.